it's Sunday and we were supposed to be going to the zoo today but we forgot to set an alarm so we're in Tesco and we just found chocolate new potatoes <laughs> but yeah we're just gonna get some supplies for a roast Gemma's here I look like crap we must buy cabbage I love the cabbage <laughs> luncheon meat anyone? I like it's Marling luncheon meat product of Holland yeah. Just the one can of beer. Jeez. Do you want a truckle chow tower? <laughs> a truckle chower. A truckle tower. Truckle tower. Dorset Cave Age goat's cheese. Wednesday with blueberry and cranberry and coastal bite cheddar. Mmm, I'm good. You don't like the goat's cheese, do you? I don't I don't mind goat's cheese actually. Well I wanted Fentiman's cola, but they don't appear to have any. It's a modern day disaster. It's like the best caller you can buy. Found it. It was on the cordial aisle, because of course it was. And Gemma is spoiling the pets. Christmas dinners for cats and dogs. I don't know if it's quite nice, I might try it. <laughs> well, it'll be easier for me to prepare than the Christmas dinner. This is oh, the best Christmas. shop ever, by the way. Decorate your own dog biscuit. Mm -hmm. I don't think Holly would be able to use that. I can make it for. I can write a name on it and put snowflakes no, on. But you, the, well, the dog's got to decorate her own. It says decorate your own dog biscuit. But the trouble is that I could foresee Holly just licking the icing off this and leaving the biscuit. Cause probably, they're, yeah. Because they're not a favourite. Seriously though, who wants a mull spice scented bottom? Apart from some boxes of beer before Christmas Day, that's just pretty much done with the Christmas shopping, isn't it? Yep. Including all the presents and everything. Oh, and a box of biscuits we need to get. Mince pie. And some mince pies. You can sort that out. Found bacon. Yeah, so <laughs> okay then. That's that sorted then. Yep. So for dinner, we're having festive pork shoulder. I'm not sure why it's festive. It's mulled spice too. It's got. Oh, mulled spice <laughs> It's got little festive things on it, look. It's festive pork shoulder. That's because it's Christmas, everything's festive. Oh, for God's sake. That's for for dinner, or tea, if, from, if you're from, from the north. And for dinner, or lunch, if you're from the south, we're going to have... Bacon! Bacon, oak smoked bacon sandwiches. Posh bacon. Mm -hmm. It's really nice, bacon this. Nugget. It's like 50 pence more expensive than the stuff we normally get, but it's way nicer, it's got less water in it. We got some Christmas cheese yesterday, we got... White cheddar, uh, mature cheddar with black sheep ale. Oh, it's black sheep rig welsh as well. Rig welsh yeah. is really nice. And we got Wensley Dale with orange and champagne. So we're going to enjoy those over Christmas as well. And also, Gemma bought these, which we might actually test test on a future Christmas Eve non content vlog. Christmas, the Father Christmas vlog. This was a good shot. Now we're not going to buy burgers yet. We, that's, maybe we could do that next Saturday. I don't know, because you want, might want to go to the zoo or something. Next Saturday. Are you off next Saturday? Oh. Yeah. It's going to be busy at times. Rogue One. You're just going to see Rogue One. It's so we could go to Rogue One and go for a Byron burger. Yeah. Mm. Go to the show in a Rogue One. Our plan is tickets. farming. Oh, that sounds like a good plan. Mm -hmm. So, another Christmas tradition is that we eat this massive box of Haribo. Okay, maybe it's not. What is in there, Gemma? In here. Da, 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 da. And she needs feeding. Oh, she smells gorgeous. Your Christmas cake is female? Yes, yeah, she is. It's a... My grandma made the best Christmas cake ever. Because I don't like cherries in Christmas cake. She didn't like cherries in Christmas cake. So she put loads of walnuts in. And I could, after she died, I couldn't find a recipe and I wanted to carry on the tradition of making the Christmas cake. So this is a Jamie Oliver recipe that I've tweaked to make it more like my grandma's because it's got no cherries and lots of walnuts. A lot of alcohol. You smell that? Oh, that does smell good. That it's probably got a flash point. Yeah, so it? she's gonna have. Well, she was cooked with crack and rum in, and some stag's breath, which is a whiskey honey liqueur that we got when we were in Scotland. And she's been getting fed with Appleton rum. That's not all in the cake. Most of this is, is in me. Not right now, though. <laughs> not right now. She I was gonna say. With, that's what she got fed with last year. No, this, yeah, this, I, was, I thought this was the uh, Stag's Breath, but this is really nice as well. It's called Red Stag. It's a cherry, black cherry jimby. It's really nice. So we just sprinkle the alcohol. Liberally. Just, 
let it soak in. This has already been, um, I've stuck a skewer in all over all the right, place. So it so drips down and it, gets into the middle yeah, of the cake. Yeah, you can see it all soaking into the cake. Of course, as is customary, all of our mugs are Floridian <laughs> in origin. We didn't even go to that one. You managed to get that from a friend, didn't That's you? That's because she borrowed BB-8 off me. So a cup of coffee for you and the best tea for me. Mmm, bacon. One bacon and cheese sandwich. Mm mm. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> so we tidied the kitchen up a little bit. And I'm going to dirty it again. Woohoo! And you, what are you making? A Victoria sponge. You can't find anything because we didn't tidy the kitchen up that much. Yeah, the... The, the what? Sieve. The sieve. The sieve was in the place it normally isn't. Yeah. So, while Gemma bakes, I'm going to clean these things out. Those are the platies. Those are the babies from our um, Florida vlog, which, spoiler warning, they survived. <laughs> and those are the Tetra. The penguin tetra. So that turned into a pretty expensive tidy up process. Um, it would appear that our heater has condensation in it which means that it's probably on its last legs. Fortunately I've got a spare one in the cupboard because this was bought to replace the other one because I didn't like the other one. Uh, oh well, looks like we're back to the other one and this is the last Interpet product that I'll be buying. Right, so while Mark is fiddling about with the fish tank, I've been baking a cake which you did see me start but it doesn't really take long, it's a simple Victoria sponge and they're just waiting now for the pork to finish and then they can go into the oven for between 18 and 25 minutes on 180 degrees and then we have got some um, buttercream and some damson jam to go into the middle I haven't got any icing sugar to dust on with but that's no biggie, it'll still taste nice um, it's a really simple recipe, it's a Rachel Allen one I just got it off the Good Food website and it literally, that's taken me 5 minutes to whip up Really easy. Alcohol. Mmm, dirty table. Needs washing, clearing. The fish are done and I've put the, the old heater back in again and that seems to be working just fine and there's no condensation in it. The water's a bit cloudy at the minute because I've just cleared it out and put fresh water in it. The filter's turned on so that should get nice and clean soon and we'll be able to see the fish properly again. I also need to put the backdrop up back on at some point to make it look a little bit less like a mess of wires behind the since this is now officially food vlog, it's food time! Potatoes! I will peel those. But yeah, I'm going to make some roasties. And also, I'm going to make some Yorkshire puddings. Why am I pointing them still? I'm going to make some Yorkshire puddings too. Right, my praters are on. So now, it's time to do one-handed cooking. Um, I need to add flour. This is for my Yorkshire puddings. I need to add... 80 grams of flour. Can't see it, but that says 80 grams of flour. So then I just do this with this sieve thing. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So, turns out you can't crack an egg on the side of a plastic bowl very easily, especially not a cheap one like this. So I'm going to do that now and add the egg. Look, Mum, no shell. Then you just add a bit of water. And... Splash of milk. And... Salt, which I'll do in a minute, and everything's been hidden, and I can't find the pepper. And we had a bit of salt and pepper for seasoning, because it's a savoury recipe, not a sweet one. And then we whisk. That's me whisking. I just dropped some un... Oh, never mind, it'll be fine. This isn't an exact science, unfortunately. Mm, doesn't look too bad. Next part involves this whole ba battered cupcake baking tray. Some flour oil. Two tablespoons ish. God, this is turning into a cooking uh, channel. And bang that in the oven until the oil is nice and warm. Back to the roasters, and it looks like they're about ready to go. I'll just cull into those. I'm going to reuse the water for veg because extra flavour. Turn that off. Off, not down. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, look at the steam. Oops. I've defeated the steam mon monster. 
And uh, one thing I've been doing of late is flowering my roast potatoes. Because when you pop them in the oil then, it comes out really nice. Okay, red hot oil. And potatoes. What can possibly go wrong when I'm doing this one-handed? Ooh, that's a sizzler. Those are in there now. And the one last thing to do is cover everything in oil, which I will do off camera because it's going to take me hours otherwise. Of course, you can't do a Sunday roast without using the meat juices to make the gravy. Check out the meat, it's looking good. Gemma's just taking off the skin and we're going to carve. Ta da! I'm getting hungry just looking at that. And the kitchen's a mess again, but we're done. One thing I have always struggled with, as you can probably see, is portion control. But anyway, here's some gravy to go on there. Look at that, thick as a pit prop. That was good, but I'm very full. Did you enjoy? You ready for cat? Maybe in like 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So I don't believe in portion control on savoury food, and Jem doesn't believe in portion control on cake. Sixth of whole cake. That's it's it huge. Says, it six to eight yeah, over the course of maybe a day or two. <laughs> yeah, it's just four slices left to six. Okay, okay. Well, I'm playing City Skylines and we're watching Gremlins because it's Christmas and we need Christmas films. Also, the fish tank's looking loads better now, look. Nice and clear. That was some good cake. Well, we didn't do the zoo trip that we planned to do today, but we had fun and we had lots of good food and we did some shopping. So, we'll call it a day though. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye. And this time I actually bothered to record it. <laughs>